We'll tell you, uh, captains from Alvin tonight, we're uh, Jabra Artists, um, Braylon Watson, and Carter Martin. Uh, DeWitt won the toss and elected to receive. Malvern will be kicking away from the scoreboard from right to left on your television, computer, iPad, radio dial, whatever you're choosing to listen or watch to us or on tonight. And uh, we're only about two minutes away from kicking this game off. I'm looking at the American flag down here to our right. It's, it's, it's going to be a wind may be a factor, but it looks like, Ben, it's more of a crosswind, kind of a left to right wind for us. And I'm telling you, I need to get my compass up because yeah. this field is east and west to me. And I don't know if, the, I don't know if that's right or not, but uh, the, yeah. I knew the one thing. When I left Duck Camp, the wind was out of the north, and, and that's 22 miles yeah. south of here. Yeah. So well, there, there, may, there may be a lot of things we, we don't know, but what we do know is the isolated player of the game yes. is going to be none other none other, <laughs> none other, none other, <laughs> none other <laughs> none than Jalen <laughs> Dupree, uh, which has been uh, one of the most dynamic players in, the con in our conference and one of maybe the most dynamic sophomores in the entire state. Uh, Jalen Dupree has gone over a thousand yards rushing already for the season. He's trying to add to that. Um, when you think of some of the some of the great running backs that have come through Malvern have had a thousand yards. He's now added his name to the list. Yeah. That's, and, yeah. And and that's an impressive list. It is an impressive list and, and uh, you know, wearing that number two is kind of like wearing that number 34 at Malvern. That's a special number for a special kid. And uh, I tell you what. Had one when I played named Harold Harris yeah. at war number two. You and bet. You I bet. Said somebody and, said and it was a grass field tonight, and that was my first thought. <laughs> <laughs> but Harold, that all you guys going up to grass. Let's not go there, okay? Here we go. Jesus Rodea has the ball teed up for the Leopards. As we get ready to open up. The 4A playoffs. Four seeded Malvern versus three seeded DeWitt. Kick is away. Going to be fielded at the 20. He's up over the 30. Got, Got a little bit of room. Looks like he's going to step out of bounds. Kind of tough to tell over there. Looks like he's going to be just short of the 40. Yeah. Oh, at 36 or 37. <laughs> he was running up through there, and I believe we can't see from this side, but I think he's a lot closer to that sideline than what we thought he was, Ben. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting for the Leopards because uh, DeWitt can run it. They can throw it. They're really pretty balanced. They'll kind of give it away a little bit and depending on the formation that they run, but this will be one of the more balanced teams that we face this year. Eli Ashcraft, the quarterback for the Dragons. Going to be quads. I love a good quads to the right. Screen pass set up, tunnel. Nicely read by Malvern, but breaking tackles. He's going to get up near the first down. Braylon Watson was on him almost immediately, but breaks a couple tackles, and I think he's going to have a first down. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the highlight players, Ben, ben Hackney. He's a wide receiver, 5'11", 150 pounds, and that's a tough 150 pounds. You could drag Braylon about three yards. It is. They win empty set, but when you throw a play like that, that's, that's almost an extension of your running game. Hand off up the middle. Going to fall forward up over the 50 down to around the 49-yard line. Pick up of about four on first down. One thing we know about the uh, this, this particular conference at the Wits End, they love – this is a physical conference. And so you better, you better bring your hard hat. You better be ready to tackle because they will be able to get yards after contact if you don't, if you don't bring the lumber and hold on. Twins left, split right. Second and six for DeWitt. Back to each side of Ashcraft. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw. Oh, throws oh. out and almost intercepted. Boy, Caradine. It, 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 it is. It is. Caradine makes the interception. Wow, a little bit of a yeah. conversation. And it, you know, I was kind of blocked. It happened right in front of the Dewitt bench. I couldn't get a good I look. look. I mean, at it. yeah. I, I thought it was entirely possible because he did. It, it did seem to get cradle it there un, well, in, did, under I, his elbows and so <laughs> you'll take that every every oh, yeah. single way to start to start off the game for your defense because you you've already got good field position and the way we run the football you, you would like to think even if we don't score we can pin them back a little bit now i'm going to take over at the 42 yard line look at all those dewitt players in the box yeah braylon watson in at quarterback snap goes to him hands to dupree looking to run outside. off the outside got a lot of room 
So he gets up over the 50, breaks the tackle, still going, now going to step out of bounds around the 45-yard line. First down, Malvern. Yeah, that isolated player of the game came up big early. That ball was intended to go right off tackle, and the way that we were able to block it, uh, he was able to break it off to the outside part of the tackle and uh, got to the edge, and uh, that's where we think we have perhaps a little bit of an advantage is in the athleticism department, and if, if we can get to where our speed can take over the game, we might – we might be in for a really nice, exciting night of football for the Leopards. Yeah, Coach Plumley was was uh, hoping that, and ha they have plays designed to, to turn the corner on wide. Watson joining the backfield with Harris and Dupree. Give his Dupree off the left side. Now going to cut it up. Fall forward for about four yards there on first down. It is really good to see a sophomore with the decisiveness on kind of a little – a jet sweep action, you know, <laughs> yeah. and to have the foresight to say, well, That's I know that if I cut up field now, yeah. Yeah. I can get five yards. You know, I'm not going to take the chance of getting to the edge. That's a mature move for a sophomore running back. Leopards mm -hmm. come to the line, twins left. Dupree and Watson in the backfield. Looks like Dupree's going to take the snap. Fakes the give to Watson, now looking to run off the right side. Cuts it up, pushing forward near the line to gain. Going to depend on the spot. He's right at the 35. I think he's going to be about just a half a football. Nope, they're going to first down, down. down. That's something we've not seen us do. We've seen this formation. We've seen us hand the ball off. What we've not seen is the quarterback keep it a lot. Uh, so that's a – that's something that uh, if we got to where we're going to start reading that well, that is going to be an incredibly difficult thing for defenses to stop. Dupree takes the snap right up the middle. Shoestring tackle saves what would have been a really long gain yeah. as he falls over the 30. Still a nice gain on first down. I did get an update from our producer, whatever, Steve Laverne. This field is north-south. So uh, I thank you, Steve Laverne and Mary, not only for that, for everything you do for the Leopards. But which way is north? I don't well, I, I can tell you this. It was one of those, <laughs> it's got to be our left. It's one of those weird things where we were six miles away from the stadium and you could see the six. lights. Yeah. I could it's, see it it's, 20 miles away. You're over here in rice land and <laughs> flat country, and it is flat. Flat and I thought I saw the lights and I thought it was 13 miles away <laughs> yeah. and I thought there's no way that's it. Yeah, but there it was. Twins right, split left, second and four. Watson in at quarterback. Here's the snap. Watson looking to run off the right side. Mm. Looks like we have a flag. It's going to stop I, the play. I yeah. will say one thing, guys. Driving over here and seeing the lights like a, this is a flat country like I was raised in in North Oklahoma. I mean, you could see. 10, 15 miles on Friday nights who was home playing football and because uh, you can yeah. see, the, see the lights. Ball start on the Leopards. Going to turn a second and four into a second and nine. And in the early going, it sure seems like the the surest way to, for us to be stopped is for us to stop Bumper ourselves. Set. And you, you hope that that, you know, where you were in an advantageous position at second and six doesn't come back to hurt us. Twins right, split left. Here's the snap. Watson looking to run. Made a great move the left move side, there. up over the 30, down over the 25. Going to be near the line to gain, probably about a yard short. He really nope. made a good cut. They're going to say first down, down Leopards. They're going to say first down. He made a good cut, Ben. It, he did. It, what a, uh, an embarrassment of riches at running back, really, yeah. that we have right now. You got Jalen Dupree. He's already over 1,000 yards. Well, he's over 1,200 now um, for the year. So, you know, you, you give him several carries to start the game, and now you've got number four to worry about, Braylon Watson, who is every bit a really good running back. Same formation for the Leopards. Snap goes to Watson looking to run off the right side. Now cuts it up, upfield. Dragging a man forward, so he's going to be near another first down as he's down to the 15-yard line. First Watson, down, Malvern. Watson once again is running with the purpose, Ben. Well, he's a senior. I yeah. mean, this is his. If they don't win, it's his last high school football game. Braylon's a guy that certainly, I think, will have some opportunities to play yeah. on Saturday somewhere if he wants to. But you know, you talk to guys that I know that have played at every level, and they'll tell you there's nothing that matches the special nature of Friday night football. Going to be trips out to the right. Dupree in at quarterback. Here's the snap. Dupree looking to run up the middle. Going to meet a whole lot of dragons. Looks like he may have picked up two down to the 13. Be around second and eight there. 
Well, last Saturday, Braylon was invited and went up to the University of Arkansas for the Mississippi State game and uh, said he had a great time. And, and I know. It's a great game to go to. Yeah, yeah. Is second and eight, ball on the 13 yard line, just under six and a half left here in the first quarter. If you're just joining us, DeWitt had first possession on the third play of the game through an interception to Dylon Caradine, and the Leopards have been driving ever since. We have the three headed monster in the backfield with Watson here? taking the snap. Give is to Dupree off the left side, now cuts it up, going to get over the 10, over the five. That's the first down. He's past the marker. Gosh. I mean, we're average. We have to be average eight and a half, nine yards to carry, Ben. Yeah, and, and because you've got you've got two, and in, and in that case, three guys that can absolutely burn you bad running the football, you have to respect all three guys. You have to account for all three guys, and uh, that puts a lot of pressure on those linebackers. Well, if our, if our offensive line can keep this up, Seth, Oh, it's going to be a good night. It's first and goal from the five. Here's the snap. Give is to Dupree. Looking to fight three tackles. Push himself over the line. Let's see. I think he's down to the two-yard line maybe. Kind of tough to see from the angle. Two or three-yard line. We do. We must uh, come in and thank the wit we are on the inside and in out of the weather, out of the wind and everything in, in the press box. We Absolutely. appreciate that. I mean, about as close to the 50 as you can get. You bet. I think I'm on the 48. I think I'm on the 51 or 52. We may be looking to call a timeout here. Going to get this play right. Looks like we are. Malvin's going to use its first timeout. They'll be facing a second and goal from the two when we come back. Scoreless ball game. See you in a minute. Welcome, Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday night starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back to DeWitt. Leopards facing a second and goal from the two. Jalen Dupree in at quarterback. He takes the snap, looking to run. He's, He's in. Touchdown, Touchdown Leopards! That, that, that's, a big, that's a big series, guys. I'm yeah. telling you what, not only that, with uh, Carradine coming stepping up and making the interception, stopping them, and then to take it and just basically – Ran it down the throat. You want to brag on Jack Bullhos right there. He actually was able to pull around the guard and got into the hole, found the right guy to kick out, and that Dupree went right off of Bullhos' block to slide over the line and score the touchdown. Another one of those super sophomores. Rodea on to attempt the extra point. Oh, kick is a be wide right, I think. And it, it just is good. Over. <laughs> All right. Barely got in. <laughs> With 4.58 left in the first quarter, Malvern scores 7 nothing. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back to DeWitt as Malvern has just Scored first, seven nothing Leopards. Jesus Rodea on to kick the ball away. High kick, angled toward the left sideline. Going to be fielded at the 20 yard line. Get up field, got some room. He's up over the 50, 45, 40. Carter Martin giving chase. We're finally going to bring him down around the 32 yard line. Nice return there by the Dragons. Yeah, I tell you what, he had that sideline. He, he tried to do on this. this the other side, I mean, he didn't have enough room, and that's Ben Hackey. He's a 5'11", 150-pound. Uh, he, he's run, one of the running backs and uh, wide receiver running back and really did a good job. And that's kind of a killer. You have some momentum going. You know, you uh, you got the interception. You go down there and score a long, sustained drive, and then you, 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 you give them hope back again. You put give them some momentum. Hand is to the tailback up the middle. Looks like he's going to pick up one. That was Xander. Boner, Bonert on the carry. Going to be second and nine from the 32-yard line. Ashcraft brings them to the line. Twins to each side. 
Try to get the Leopards to jump, no go. Signal in the new play. Just over four minutes left, second and nine. Here's the snap, Ashcraft rolling left, looking to throw out route, has got his man. Good tackle, Good tackle. open field tackle. Ashcraft. Nicely played by Carter Martin. Yeah, Carter, Carter was breaking on that one. You guys are in, inside during what, about the 28, 20. You gotta, we gotta figure this is four down territory, isn't it? It's about third and five, I would say. Third down and five for the Dragons. From the 28, as Ron said, probably two downs to pick up this five yards. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna stay in twins to each side, back to the right of Ashcraft. Here's the snap, give his to the back, met immediately. Met immediately, yeah. Looks like it. he may have even lost a yard. Yeah, that's uh, Owen Lubke. They got him listed at 6'2", 180. He's one of the bigger kids. He's a linebacker, uh, tight end, and a, and a tailback. Big fourth down, Ben. It is, and I, they're bringing in a pretty big old boy. That number uh, 33. 33, Jatavia Sims. He looks like he could uh, rumble, bumble, stumble for a while if he got his hands on the football. Throw, oh, pressure. Right. Going to set up a screen, right. fall incomplete. So it will be a turnover on downs. Leopard defense holds. Boy, I tell you what, we had a lot of pressure on him there. Coming across there, leading the pack was uh, Biggs, Keiston Biggs and uh, Keiston. Keiston Biggs, I'm sorry. And I'm trying to think who was out there with him, too. It looked like uh, Angel Perez, I believe. Yeah, and you could tell that, you know, the coaches have done their homework on the early going here. Yeah. He talked about 10 personnel and 20 personnel. We've seen mostly 10 personnel. For those of you at home, that means the, the first number is your number of running backs in the backfield. The second number, the zero, is how many tight ends. So when we say 10 or 20, that means they're going no tight ends. And one means one back, 20 means two backs. Here we go. Dupree takes the snap, looking to run off got the right room. side. Got, a, he lot got a lot of room. He, he has reservations for six. Wow. Nobody's wow. going to catch him as he is leaving Dragons in the dust. Touchdown, wow. Leopards. Wow. Wow. That, that, that's been, I, I think, I hope our audience understands how big that is. You stop them on fourth down, and then you and then you hit them with another dagger. And, and not only that, but you do it after you give up a big kick. You give up a big kick return. Yeah. They've got some momentum. The defense comes out, stuffs them gets a turnover on downs, and then you answer that way. Because this we saw last week against Arkadelphia, right? There was you a bet. huge momentum play. Oh, with yeah. the, we had a third and one turn first down. It turned into third and 26, 26. And we never really regained our footing. We gave up a big play there. We answered right back, did what we need to do to get the momentum back on our side. Number 81, Jesus Rodea. Jesus Rodea on to attempt the point after. Hold will be Carter Martin. Looking to try to go up 14 nothing. Two possessions, two touchdowns. Good snap, good hold, That's kick is away. Uh, no doubt. That's a much and better kick. It is good. <laughs> that was a pretty one. Wasn't that was good. <laughs> With 2.42 left here in the first quarter, Leopards lead 14 nothing. We'll be back after this. Red River Dodge of Malvern is thrilled to support the Leopards on the gridiron this season. Make sure you rush over to malverndodge.com to check out all the rebates on our new Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Rams. We can't wait to support these guys all season. They work so hard all year long to represent our community on and off the field. Help us cheer on the team tonight. Go Leopards! <laughs> Up, bro? I mean, you all right, G? You all right, G? Uh-oh. MalvernDodge.com. Go Leopards. Welcome you back here to DeWitt. Jesus Rodea on to kick off. Sky yeah, kick angled to the right side. Going to land at the 35, fielded by DeWitt there, looking to make the return. Spins off the first guy. But not going to go very far. Looks like they're going to take over right at the 35. Boy, ba based on what you're trying to do with that sky kick, that that's about as well as you can do it. <laughs> yeah. You get it to stop. You know, they're they're thinking maybe it'll bounce out of bounds, and then it takes one hop up. You know, kind of checks up like a like a flop shot. You know, that you're trying to get to draw backwards. And that's how I try to chip right there. <laughs> so that uh, you know, Jesus had had that one down just exactly the way you draw it up. Pull the string, Ben. You got to pull the string. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> a little single air, is it? Give to the tailback off the right side. Oh, oh, my, there. Goodness. oh my goodness. <laughs> Met by Jabra Artis and uh, Hunter Adams. And, Hunter and Adams. It's, it's almost like right now the defense is kind of like sharks in the water, and, and they can 
they've had a little bit of chum and they're and they're just on a feeding frenzy right now. There's a lot of confidence out there on the defensive side. I mean, they're playing with a lot of confidence. They're playing fast. And when when you get a a confident defense, you know, a athletic defense, you can cause a lot of chaos. Second and 11, fakes the give, looking to throw. Ashcraft rolling to his right, now going to tuck it under and run. He gets over the 40, down to around the 43. Looks like it's going to be about a third and two. And that's just one of those plays you got to chalk up and tell the quarterback good job. The, deep, the, the back end did a really good job of covering. Actually got a pretty good amount of pressure on him. He was just able to slither and find a, find a, a, a little bit of a seam on the outside and pick up several yards and give them to a third and short. Here's the snap. Give to oh, my goodness. He is crushed in the backfield. Wow. Trying to see the number. I'm telling you, it's like they're just Leonard throwing. They're Leach. Just, you what? They're Leonard just, Leach. They're just throwing the chum out the back of the boat. Leonard Leach was all over that for it, even just for two steps, and he was there, Seth. Yeah, that was a, that was a man play there by Leach. Even at the beginning of the year, they were telling us that they were really surprised at how much penetration that Leonard was able to get. I mean, he, he's just got a knack for getting in the backfield, and right there he made the play about four or five yards behind the line of scrimmage. Marion Harris on to punt for the Dragons. Dylon Carradine back to receive for the Leopards. Looks like DeWitt is going to have to use a timeout trying to get the right formation out there. We'll take it with them. With 53 seconds left in the first quarter, score is Leopards 14, Dragons 0. <laughs> Welcome you back to DeWitt. Dragons facing a fourth and four on the 41 yard line. Pump formation. O'Marion Harris on to kick for the Dragons. Dylon Caradine back deep to receive for the Leopards. 53 seconds left here in the first quarter. Good snap. Punt is away. Bounces at the 20, fielded at the 15 by Caradine, looking for room to run. Spins off the first guy, but not a whole lot there. Going to be right around the 20, where the Leopards will take over first and 10 from there. Yeah, Caradine did a really good job there, Ben, fielding the ball and, and uh, saving a lot of field position. Yeah, usually usually the football will, will not bounce kindly for you, but in that case <laughs> it bounced in such a way that it was about waist high, had some hang time on it, was a pretty easy pickup. That's an easy decision for him to go ahead and try to make something happen. You know, before the game, I kind of made a comment off air about, you know, we're 400 yards away rushing from rushing for 3,000 yards, and we're a couple more long touchdown runs from being in that neighborhood. I hear you. Dupree leads them out, twins to each side, looking to run. Nice what a move. block there. Oh. Oh, they're going to call a flag. I don't... They're going to call it. It's a balls out, but Dupree, I believe, is going to be able to fall on it. It's coming back, though. Yeah, I Looked think... like Genoa Harris just pancaked a guy, and I'm... They're calling it a hold, I suppose. I Maybe think they're going to, yeah. Or they may have... On may, the back may, side. Is there any way he got him from behind? No, no holding. On holding. It could have been a lineman that I didn't see, but... Uh, he threw it back there to, to me, back there behind the play. But uh, like you say, he could have been looking into the line, saw a lot of things that we didn't see. Ten yard penalty so not a great result for the Leopards, but could have been much worse if we were not able to recover the fumble there. We'll be now first and 17. Evan Myers is in the game. So a little bit different formation than what we've been seeing out of the Leopards before. At least the personnel is going to be different. Going to be twins left, split right. Myers joined in the backfield by, I believe, Harris. Boy, to his right. the line. Here's the snap. We've got another flag. flag we are going the wrong direction. Yeah. False start. False start. And that'll back the Leopards up another five. Yeah. Now what the Leopards really need to do, they need to get some, some of this back and uh, turn the field over as, as, most, as best they can because first and 22 is asking a lot for any team. Well, we've, all, we've successfully ran off about 20 seconds without actually running a play. And we don't even have to run one here if we want to let the quarter expire. We'll see what happens. Twins left, split right. Yeah, we're we are. We're going to let it, the quarter expire. So at the end of the first quarter, 
Leopards are going to lead this one 14 nothing, but facing a first and 22 when we come back after this. Orange Outdoor is ready to serve your outdoor needs at both their Hot Springs and Malvern locations. Orange carries the number one tractor brand in the world, Mahindra, as well as tractors by Coyote, John Deere, Kubota, LT, and Massey Ferguson. For your residential lawn needs, Orange carries zero-turn mowers by Hustler and Spartan. Horn also carries a full line of outdoor power tools. For all of your outdoor needs, visit Horns at 3505 North Highway 171 in Malvern or at 3034 Albert Pike in Hot Springs. Welcome you back here to DeWitt. Leopards currently leading 14-0 here at the start of the second quarter. Looking to add to it, but dug themselves a little bit of a hole looking at a first and 22 all the way back on our own eight-yard line. Going to be twins left, split right. Myers takes the snap, looking to throw. There it is. Deep route out there. Got his man. It is complete. It will be first down, Leopards, to Jabra Artis. Okay. I, okay, <laughs> off the air. I swear Ben Dial called that play. <laughs> He's used to nut. I'm, I'm, yeah, you called that play. Yeah, well, you, they, they were actually in that particular case they were playing cover zero but you knew you yeah. had man-to-man -man coverage on the outside you have an opportunity it's first and 22 the odds are you're going to have to pass it at some point Sorry. to get the first down you throw a, you know, a jump ball on the outside you know you're going to get one-on-one -on -one coverage <laughs> yeah worst case scenario they intercepted it acts like a punt twins right split left here's the give to harris looking to run He's not going to be able to go much of anywhere. It looks like maybe a gain of one. If that, maybe no gain. Yeah, that last play, it was, uh, you know, throw the ball down there and let Carter Martin, the senior, go up and get it, and uh, that's exactly what he did. It might have been Jabra, I think. It was Jabra. Was it Jabra? He, he, he's taller. Yeah, that's it was, who I thought the jump ball, too, yeah. Carter was on the other side of the field. Well, I stand corrected. Way to go, Jabri. We'll get you next play, Carter. Hang in there, brother. <laughs> Twins right. He does have man-to-man -man coverage yes, out he here. does. Going to be Dupree back in at quarterback. Watson to his left. Here's the snap. Fakes the give to Watson. Dupree looking to run. Got a little bit of room as he lowers the shoulder. Going to pick up around six or seven. Give you a third and short here. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what you wanted right there. I mean, obviously you'd love to pick up the first down, but when you're in second and nine and you can get to where you're at third and two, third and two and a half, yeah. you'd call that a successful play. With the way we've been running the football, I'd be really surprised to see this ball go in the air. I don't, I don't even think Evans in the game. So this is uh, Dupree doesn't even have anybody to hand the ball off unless we run some body in motion so it's just is he going right or left twins right split left snap the three looking to run right <laughs> he's got it he's wow. gonna have the first down driven backwards after that but he's up to near the 48 yard line first down leopards yeah well actually he started walking back to the to the left as i said that gonna be 46 yard line but still a first down. Yeah. And it looked like that play was actually designed to go right over the left guard. Yeah. But he kind of <laughs> planted that foot in the ground and said, I see I see the daylight on the right side and went over the right guard and uh, picked up the first down pretty easily. On that left side, Benny had his guy almost in the visitor stands. Twins left, split right. Watson in at quarterback. Takes the snap, looking to run. Now going to throw over the top to Janelle. He's got him. Janelle now running over the 30, barrels over a man down to around the 27-yard line. A little jump pass action. <laughs> it is, and it, 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 how how much of a weapon is it to have guys like Keelan Janelle and Jabri Artis that are so tall yeah. that Athletic. you don't have to put it on the money. You just have to put it somewhere in the vicinity, somewhere around six and a half, seven feet in the air, and let them go get it. Wins left, split right. Watson still in at quarterback. Takes the snap, looking to run off hole. the left Big side. Hole. Big, Big hole. There Got it is. a lot of room. One man to beat, and he does. Touchdown, Leopards. Braylon Watson. Wow. Wow. And right now, I, the, the DeWitt fans over here are just stunned in silence. I don't. I, I mean, I didn't see this coming. I I, there's no way I that, that they saw it coming. did not see this coming. Well, the well, ball game's not over yet. One thing I wanted to mention, guys, yes, we are a four seed, but let's not forget we were playing for the two seed the last week of the yeah. season. Well, hey, guys, DeWitt was too. Yeah, DeWitt tied for second. They tied for yeah. second. You're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. Rodeo right, on right. to kick. Kick is away. And it is good. With 9.23 left here in the second quarter, Leopards lead this one 21-0. We'll be back after this. Yeah. 
welcome you back here to DeWitt. Leopards leading this one 21 nothing with 9.23 left here in the second quarter. Rodea has the ball set to be kicked. Would not surprise, be surprised to see another sky kick. This time angled toward the left side. Going to be fielded right at the 40 or 30 yard line. Slipped. You know, I, guys, you know a little bit better. How is this Dragon offense built to come back fast? I mean, they're pre predominantly a run team. Uh, do they? Do they go to the air now? I mean, what do we think? What are we, what are we looking for, Seth? Well, the, play, the plays are in there. They're going to have to stay away from that single wing, though. If they want to score fast. Well, yeah. I think you got to go to whatever your bread and butter is because if you're looking at if you don't score here and giving the ball back to Malvin with a chance to go up 28 nothing. that's a deep hole. So yeah. that's a false start, There's too. Going to look to throw. Got his man, but he uh, drops it. They whoa, had him. They had he it. had room to run. Wow. Yeah, yes, that should did. have been a touchdown. Yeah. That There's was no question about it. Is that number 11? Ben Hackney. Yeah, that's Hackney. Hackney's seen a lot of play. And uh, and that's not one he say. normally drops. He's, he's one of their yeah, more dynamic he's one, players. Yeah. He's one we had a star by to watch and uh, showed a lot of speed there to get by because he was uh, running out there. Carter Martin was running with him, I'm trying to say, and, and he had actually broke free. Going to bring up second and 10 from the 36-yard line. To, or trips to the right. Yeah, I Split guess. left. Looking for a tunnel screen that's just beautifully red and broken up there. Can't tell the number of the leopard that did it, but it was a fantastic play. I guess Jabra uh, looks like Jabra Jabra back Hart, in there, yeah. and he's having a fantastic football game on both sides of the ball here early. Um, and then, you know, he – I know – Coach Martin is excited to get him on the basketball <laughs> court, but we'd like to see him play some more yeah, football games we need to before it's all said and done. Three or four more weeks out of him. Well, I think Coach Martin also wants to see his son play as much football that's as he wants. That's probably right. Big third down, guys. Twins to each side. Ashcraft throw looking again. to throw. Rolling to his left. The pressure. Going to let it go. We Got slipped. a man wide open down there and actually two men wide open. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, one of them caught it. Yeah, we're fortunate that they didn't throw it to number 40. Yeah, um, that was one Xander, of Xander Boner because he was actually behind everybody, way behind everybody. And if you make that pass uh, yeah. down, that was a, just a post route. And but he threw, it's one of those loop passes they throw and let you know let the kid come back to it. The ball had a lot of air in it uh, under. I mean, it was it was that was a high. First, anyway, first and ten from the 33-yard line. Going to stay with twins to each side. L Lukey to the left of Ashcraft. Give his to him. Looking to run off the right. Got a little bit of room. He gets up over the 30-yard line, down to around the 29. Pick up of four or five on first down. I guess the Dragons answered my question about the offense they were going to because when they got needed to, I mean, they went straight to the air on that series. And had a lot of wide open men. We're actually fortunate to be looking yes. at a second and six from yes, 29. Yes, yeah. This time gonna have twins left, split right. Up back off the left side, back to the right of Ashcraft. Here's the snap, Ashcraft looking to throw. Out route that was undercut there by Braylon Watson, but perfectly placed over the head yeah. of Watson to the receiver. And yeah, once will be again, a first down. Yeah, Ben Hackney out there, number eight, and uh, did a really good job of coming down with the ball. So uh, Really nice catch because, I mean, he had to fully extend to catch it and really pretty good placement by the quarterback yeah. because he had to get it over the, the yeah. flashing defender, and he managed to do that. That's one of the hardest throws to make is when you have to throw it over somebody and still put it in position for your receiver to catch the, the football. So that's really well done by the quarterback. First and 10 from the 22. Give to the back off the left side. Not a whole lot there. Looks like he may have picked up one or two. Seven minutes, uh, a little over seven minutes left here in the uh, second half, and the Leopards are leading this one 21 to zero. I'll tell you that Jabra was in on that again. He'll probably get half a tackle for that one. I don't know what his tackle count is already, but he's we seem to be calling his name yeah. Yeah. quite a bit. Yeah. Twins right, split left. Back to each side of Ashcraft. Second and nine. Here's the snap give to the back looking to run off the right side. And I think he's again, in on that tackle. Again, not a whole lot there. May have got one more yard. Bring up third and eight. I think that was Perez and Jabra. Yeah. 
And and Angel's a guy we we've been talking about quite a bit over the yes. last four or five weeks. He has really really developed. You know, it, it, the coaches think he may be the single most instinctual football player they have on that side of the ball, and uh, the experience that he's been able to get now, largely because of injuries, yeah. has yeah. really accelerated his his ability to play defense out there. He's become one of the one of the more consistent linebackers we've got on this squad. Dragons have taken a timeout to talk this over. We'll be back after these words from our sponsor. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. Welcome you back to DeWitt. Dragons facing a third and eight from the 20. Ashcraft looking to throw. Oh, Over wow. the head of his intended receiver, going to bring up a fourth and eight, but we have a leopard down in pain. And it's, it's, it's a shoulder or an arm, and I can't that tell. Looks like it I, it I may be Perez. No, 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 no. no, no. Who is that's it? not Perez. That's a, that's a lineman. Is it? Oh, yeah. 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 That's a D and, lineman. Yeah. And maybe, it may be Leach. maybe Leach. Yeah. I don't see. He is, he's in pain, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's an armor. Yeah. Maybe a shoulder. Sometimes you land on those shoulders wrong, and they'll just. But he's sitting up. That's good. I think it is Leach. Yeah, he. Yeah, he's. He got a stinger. For 67, Leonard Leach. Able to walk off under his own power. Hopefully, it was just a stinger or something. <laughs> Looks like he's able to move both yeah, arms. So yeah, I yeah. He's not. He's not. Dragging, dragging a limb like uh, you do when you get a knockdown shoulder. So maybe he just got a stinger. But he was in pain there for a while. Oh, hey, big fourth and uh, let's call it eight, 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 nine. Yeah, here we go. Fourth and eight from the twenty. You got to locate number eight, Hackney. Yeah. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw. Let's it go. Got a man wide, wide open. open over the middle, and it is tipped and wide. dropped on what would have been he a touchdown. Was wide open. He had Dagan Moser just you know, coming wide open over the middle in the end zone, and I mean, that's, Leopard's very fortunate. That that's two touchdowns the Leopards have dodged because uh, they the Dragons had men open and just couldn't connect them, or it would be it'd be fourteen to twenty-one. And, it, and it's real easy to say, well, the quarterback threw it a little behind him, but that what he was what he was he was so wide open. Yeah, you you're trying to not. You throw try, it past him, and so to, you, the, really the 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 onus is on the wide receiver to slow so down. Yeah, and, and, and because the, you've got there, it's not like you have to catch it and run. You're yeah. catching it in the back of the end zone, so just kind of slow your route down. So we dodged a big bullet there, well, no question did. about it. Well, we did uh, multiple bullets on yeah. that particular drive. Dupree brings the leopards out. He's looking to run off the left side, just wow. running over people. Ball comes out though, and there's a scramble for it, and I think they've they got the it. Wick the got, got it. it. Yeah, that's a cold night or whatever. That's the second time we've left the ball on the ground. Only the this time the uh, the Dragons come up with it, and uh, that's a big, big turnover, particularly after stopping them on fourth down. And uh, we're going to have to secure the ball and hold on to it better than that. Yeah, we were talking about if you if you're able to go up 28 to nothing before half, it's it's almost like a, a dagger, you know, and almost being. An impossibility to come back almost, but uh, you know how many fumbles do you see when you're fighting for extra yards? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, oh, yeah. it's it's not a it's not a lack of effort or lack of concentration. Oh, no, no. You're, you're you're fighting for extra yards, and sometimes it's here's the snap. Got wow. another drop there. Wow! And and the slant route by oh. the Ash drops Hackney. have have, have really you. hurt Dory. Ash, and there Ashcraft go. putting the ball in the spot, and uh, unfortunately. Fortunately for us, but unfortunately for the Dragons, they're just not haven't been able to bring him in yet. Not and very uncharacteristic yet. for this football team. Yes, yes. They've shown that they can really do a good job of throwing and catching the ball. Will be second and ten. And, and I believe that was Hackney again. That was Hackney. Hackney. Yeah, that's Hackney. And that's he's, a, he's that's one of the better wide receivers oh, in yeah. the conference. Gosh, yeah. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw again. Got his man and oh, it's dropped goodness. again. Oh, my goodness. 
My goodness. L Lukey. Yeah, Lukey's, they, they, they lift him in a tight end, and, and, and he's running some tailback. So uh, he's had some balls thrown to him, and uh, uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic again. I'll get it out in a minute. <laughs> for the Dragons to drop it. Say, Rod. I mean, my gosh. <laughs> Third and ten. I All mean, it's cold. Yard line. It's cold, and I'm sure that has something to do with it. But sometimes it's just things have a ma matter of being contagious. Yeah, sometimes. Ashcraft's looking to throw again. Got a man over the middle who goes down to the ground. I don't think he caught that one, but they're going to give it to him. That's one of those that it's tough to see if you're not in it. But yeah. it, to me, it looked like that ball drug on the ground. It will be a first down to Wit, but uh, unlucky break there for the Leopards because I don't think he caught that one. And I almost. I almost think that the the drops are affecting the quarterback's throws at this point because he's short on that. I think yeah. he, he doesn't want to throw it so hard that they're dropping passes. Yeah. I think he's trying to lay it in there a little soft, and that's gonna that's gonna mess with your accuracy. Here's this. Oh, oh now fumbled snap. Now just trying to run as Ashcraft. He's got room. He's going to score. What looked right. like a disaster right. is going to be a touchdown dragon. And yeah. all of a sudden, this game takes on a whole other life. And yeah. he, al he almost picked the ball up while he was on a knee. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so. yeah, that's 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 what that's called turning disaster into a touchdown. And uh, really not really nice move by the Ashcraft kid. Too. That's the anti-star. Yeah, but to keep his head and uh, understand, you know, what he could and couldn't do. Tough to trip over a lineman's feet from a shotgun, though. Number four, David. A little swing and gate. Will be David Pina on to attempt the extra point. Kick is wow. away. He got a leg. And it is good. So with 5-12 left in the second quarter, Leopards lead 21-7. We'll be back after this. Welcome you back here to DeWitt. Onside kick attempted, fielded by the Leopards. Yeah, that's that was Tyler Golden. Tyler Golden, Golden right there, and uh, the Leopards are going to start off what about the 47-yard line, Seth? Great field position. We're talking off air here, and what looked like, you know, was everything going Malvern's way with a chance to go up 28 nothing. All of a sudden, you fumble the ball, and a few plays later, DeWitt scores, and now this becomes a hugely important drive to the game. If you can go down there and punch it in then you're still feeling pretty good if you turn it over here momentum starts to shift yeah will be first and 10 from the 47 twins left Dupree on at quarterback he's got Genoa next to him here's the snap fakes to Genoa Harris will be Dupree on the run spins off of a man and man I thought he was gonna break I did free too. I did too Tor number 20 for the for the Dragons was really holding on and uh, that's Jalen Van Hooten and uh, I think yeah I think his dad's one of the broadcasters down on the other side he, he said that was his son so yeah Jalen held on and because uh, uh, Dupree could have but had some places to go yeah I mean he he did a great job of holding on and that's all he could do because uh, if if he lets go, Jalen's taking that one to the house. Second and four from the other 47. Twins to the left for Malvern. Will be Dupree on the run off the left side. Bruce breaking off tackles left and right. Now going to be pushed backwards after picking up the first down all the way down to the 40-yard line. It's a real fine line of trying to get extra yards and making sure that yeah. you maintain control of that football and ball security. And, you know, we've seen that the ball hit the ground a couple of times already today. And, you know, when you, when you have an opportunity, you know you're more athletic maybe, and you know that you can have a chance to break some tackles, you have to make sure you've got those three points of contact on the football and you're not letting it hit the ground. Twins right, split left. Here's the snap to pre right up in the middle. run. Got Big hole. Room. He's up over the 30. Now goes into a pile down to the 25-yard line. And, Ben, that, it, another thing about this is Dupree is the man who's put the ball on the ground a couple of times. But right after the fumble, who comes out and leads the offense? <laughs> Dupree. Number two, the deuce. Because that's, you know, that's your coach saying, hey, well, I, I tell you, I tell you, and, and what it also says is in the coaches show, you know, Coach Plumley talked about Dylon Caradine having a short memory. Yeah, running backs and wide receivers need to have a short memory. True, too. true. Twins right, Watson on at quarterback. Here's the snap. Watson looking to run. Now going to cut it up. 
going to fall over the 20 yard line because we had a WWE like power slam in the middle of that. Yeah, it's just uh, Janelle making sure that he <laughs> blocks through the whistle. <laughs> and uh, let, let, let's talk a little bit more about Jack Bullho since that ball went right up the middle. I'm going to tell you one thing about Jack is he's been going up against nose guards all year long. And I'm going to tell you, as a guy who played some center, it is so difficult to snap the ball and have a guy right because you have to start your yeah. block with the snap. Yeah. And so the job that he's done as a sophomore has this year has been absolutely phenomenal. Second and four, Watson takes the snap, fakes to Dupree, looking to run up the middle. Nice play made by DeWitt. Going to pick up two, bring up around a third and two from around the 18-yard line. That's not a, that's not necessarily a bad play that's at all because play. you got two downs to pick yeah. this up. We're not going to punt it. We're not going to kick a field goal. So you got two plays to pick up two and a half yards or so. Uh, and so, you know, picking up a yard and a half doesn't seem like a big deal. But when you, you put yourself in, in a really good position, with two downs to go to pick up this first down. Twins left will be, I believe, Dupree in at quarterback. Here's the snap. Dupree looking to run. He lowers his head. He should have it. 15 he should, yard yeah. line. Paul Side forward. judge over there says, yep. Yeah. And it will be a first down, Malvern. Uh, yeah, first down. Yeah, I looked at it. I was, I was watching his feet, and they had to get to the uh, – to the white mark there, so. DeWitt's doing something that we've not seen a lot of teams do against us, and that is, you know, at the last second kind of try to hide their blitzes, and then they come. I mean, the linebackers are sneaking up on the line, and they're trying to time the snap count. And The, Le the Leopards are doing a really good job of this drive. They're taking time off the clock. They're moving the football. They're in a position to score. It doesn't get much better than that. We need to score. Debris takes the snap, looking to run off the left side. Falls forward. Down near the 10-yard line. Looks like over the 10-yard line. Yeah, another really nice job on the left side of creating I a hole. I mean, a flag, guys. Uh, well, there was a hole. That may have been the reason why there was a nice hole there. I don't know. I'll tell you what. We just we don't need to be shooting ourselves in the foot, boys. No, nope. minute 16 left on the clock. Two timeouts left for the Leopards. Now going to be looking at a first and long. First and 19, ball on the 24-yard line. And the frustrating thing about that is that happened, you know, a yard upfield. And yeah. so you feel like even if, the, even if you don't hold right there, you probably pick up four. Yeah. Man split to each side. Dupree quarterback. Watson to his left. Here's the snap. Thanks to give to Watson, looking for Dupree. Dupree got nothing there. He's going to lose a yard as the clock goes under a minute left in the half. So, Ron, I think you hit the you hit the nail on the head. There's two points of emphasis here. Number one, you'd love to come away with seven points. Number two, you want to you, you want to make the clock in, into such a Situation that DeWitt doesn't have a chance to score at the end of your possession. Yeah, and then and of course ideally you get both. And that yeah, ideally <laughs> then we get the first possession to start the second half. And uh, so I tell you what, if we could put one here, put, punch one through here with uh, 51 seconds left. But it's uh, it's a it's a long chore. What we got uh, second and about 21, 22. 20. Yeah, and I believe 20. I believe DeWitt called timeout. No, Malvern. Malvern called, Malvern called timeout. timeout so. Yeah. We have one timeout left with 51 seconds. Interesting that we call timeout right there. Evan Myers on to the field for the Leopards. Leopards come to the line, twins right, split and left. Myers alone in the backfield. The Leopards have the ball on the dragon, 25 yard line. Second down. And I, it, DeWitt has just been playing straight man all day. Oh, Pass oh, sails oh. over the head of Braylon Watson. Yeah. Now going to be third and 20. Now, the way that the Leopards have been running the football, you don't necessarily have to pass it here. I mean, you, you're in a position where the way you've been running it, if they're going to be in a, in a pass defense and it looks like they might be – Giving a lot of cushion on the edge, but they're still running just cover one. They're going to have a lot of guys in the box, but 10 yard runs have come off at a pretty good clip. So you don't have to throw it. 
But this is definitely a passing formation for the Leopards. Yeah, Twins right, split left. Third and 20. Here Myers takes the snap, looking to throw. Got it to Janelle. He fights off the first man, but unable to break the second tackle, and it's going to be fourth and extremely long. Yeah, and I'm okay. really surprised the Wits not calling timeout right here. Maybe trick place on the tackle for the Dragons. This may be one play heave to the end zone. Yeah, I mean, because that's, that's what they're setting up uh, and allowing us to do is to just run this thing down and call timeout with about five seconds left and, and set up, a, set up a, a, a shot at the end zone. And when you've got guys like Jabra Artis and, and, and Janelle and, and Carter, and, Carter and, yeah. and you've got some, some basketball players out there that are tall, can go jump and go get it. It has been said the Leopards will use their last time out of the half. With two seconds left on the clock, it's going to be Malvern 21, DeWitt 7. You know we'll be back after this. Welcome to Larry's. <laughs> hey, guys. My name is Garrett. I've been coming to Larry's Pizza here in Malvern ever since it opened. My favorite is baked potato, chicken honey mustard. I love it. Come on down to Larry's. It's so good you don't even know. <laughs> Larry's Pizza has buffet Tuesday and Friday nights starting at 5 p.m. Call us here at Larry's Pizza for all your specialty and game day pizza needs. We want the Malvern Leopards to have a successful football season. Go Leopards! Welcome you back to DeWitt as we <laughs> get set for one of our favorite plays in high school football. The good old Hail Mary chunk to the end zone. That's here. right. Yeah. Ball is on the 26 yard line. It's fourth and 21, but all that doesn't really matter. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Last time in this situation, last down, they sent a linebacker. There he comes. There he is. Looking to throw incomplete. And that'll do it for the half. Yep, went, went for uh, Jabra, I believe, on the outside. Yeah, yeah. He wanted a penalty, didn't get it. Yeah. You almost never get that on a on, on a Hail Mary. You're not yeah, gonna I, get I'm not through. sure that he isn't right. I do think he was shoved out of bounds, yeah. but I don't think – I think the throw was short of the end zone anyway. But if you get a penalty, you get yeah, another shot. You do there. get another yeah, shot. Yeah, i tell you one thing. With the score and the stop there has actually got the, uh, the Dragon – uh, people fired back up and back in this ball game. This could be an interesting second half. It could be. We go to halftime with your Leopards leading 21-7. Uh, they do receive the opening kick when we come back. Welcome you back here to DeWitt, Arkansas, as the DeWitt Dragons take on the Malvern Leopards in the first round of the 4A state playoffs. Leopards leading in this one 21-0 at the half. Uh, game started on third play of the game. Dylon Caradine with a big interception. Uh, finished off with a touchdown run by Jalen Dupree. Uh, then a couple defensive stops and a long touchdown run by Jalen Dupree. Um, I can't remember how we got no, a third I touchdown. Was it was oh, it was Braylon Watson had a yeah. long about a 25 yard touchdown run as well to get our 21. I was thinking didn't didn't we score the first two possessions we had the ball? We we yes. scored the first three I believe. First three yeah. First yeah. three I think the only thing that stopped us in the first half was a fumble. Yeah. And uh, running out of times turnover on down the last play of the half there. Well and, and that that was a lot of that was predicated by you know. A, a, a really untimely uh, penalty down there inside the red zone that uh, really took the Leopards, uh, put, put them in second and 22 or something like that. Anyway, Le Leopards get the ball here in the second half, and we're fixing to kick it off, Seth. Will be Pina on to kick for the Dragons. First attempt was an onside kick. This one is as well. It is going to go they 10. They got a shot to get that one. Ground. Yeah, but did it go 10? It did go 10. And I believe Malvern has it. Angel Perez. Angel Perez. You nice know, job there not to be fooled. We we discussed this during halftime off air and, and the pros and cons of uh, – the Dragons are doing an onside kick. The onside kick is, of course, if it works, Seth, it's great for them. But if it doesn't, you've given the Leopards first and 10 at the 52-yard line. And, you know, I, I don't know <laughs> if your thought process is exactly what we just said. Our only real stops have been ourselves. So right. maybe maybe they're thinking, hey, let's let's try to 
it etch out another possession here down 14. But nevertheless, first and 10 from the 48. Braylon Watson takes the snap, looking to run room. off the left oh, side. He's, he's over the 40. Going to go out of bounds near the 35. Will be a first down Malvern. Yeah, they say he stepped out. Yeah, what it looks like about the 36, Seth, something like that, what they're calling it. Yeah. It's always interesting to watch, you know, the, the first couple of series outside of out, out, coming out of the half because, uh -huh. you know, the coaches – it's not like these coaches have, have not had, you know, these different adjustments, but to be able to spend 20 minutes at halftime communicating them to the players, it's uh -huh. just a lot easier to make adjustments at half than it is any other point in the football game. Trips right, split left. Snap goes to Dupree, looking to run up the middle. He's going to get up over the 30, I believe. Well, and, and to follow up on what you're talking about, Ben, it also gives the coaches the time to communicate amongst themselves. The defensive coaches, the offensive right. coaches to come back and forth. And what do you think about this? It's, da, 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 da. And it, uh, it's all about adjustments. We'll be second and four from the 38-yard line. Dupree going to be joined in the backfield to his right by Harris. Twins right, split left. Here's the snap. Dupree looking to run. Now bouncing it out wide to the right. Nice play made by the Dragons. They're going to drag him down in the backfield and lose a couple yardage there. Yeah, we missed a block. and, oh, and St. John. Did a really good job of continuing to force Jalen to go to the sideline. And as he was forcing him to the sideline, he was just slowly kind of making his way upfield and took a really, really good angle to a point to where, you know, Jalen just had to either commit outside yeah. or – that's Put his head down, and Jalen tried to beat him to the outside, but wasn't able to get to the edge. Yeah, and that was one of those players that the, their announcers and the coach said was one of the good ones, number 25. That'll bring on Evan Myers. He's looking to throw. Slant route, Jabral. Oh. And now we see a Malvern drop. That's going to bring up fourth and six for the Leopards. We have a flag, though. False start. False start. Oh, so man. we'll get to run it over because that's uh, the, the play doesn't count. Yeah. We were mentioning this. I, we don't think we cannot remember a single penalty on DeWitt yet. Malvern has multiple false starts and multiple holding penalties on them. Of course, that one actually was helpful. Yeah, I wasn't complaining. I was <laughs> just was, giving a rundown of kind of what has happened so yeah, far. Yeah, and we need to pick up. We need to pick up eight or nine here, seven, eight or nine to get it to fourth and manageable. And it's not just the cold. I mean, you, you've got the wind. This is very, very flat ground. There's nothing to block wind for miles, yeah. miles, literally miles. And, and, and so it, it's going to be a, it's, it's going to be tough to catch the football out there because the wind chill is definitely going to make it seem colder than it, than the actual temperature. Now we're going to have to use a timeout here. When they come back, they'll be facing the third and eleven. They lead this one 21-7. We'll be back after this. At MNB, we know that every customer is different. That's why we provide one-on-one -on -one guidance from our lending professionals. Our dedicated team understands the importance of taking that next step, and we offer our customers superior financial products and services. Put the strength and stability of MNB to work for you, with loan structures tailored to help you make sound financial decisions. Come see what banking with a real community bank feels like. Visit us online at mnbbank.com. Welcome you back to DeWitt. Leopards facing a third and 11 on the 37 yard line. 9.56 left here in the third quarter. Going to be trips to the left, split right. You're getting man to man on the outside on the far left with Carter. Yeah. Evan Myers takes the snap. Now he's going to look to run. He lowers the shoulder and falls forward to maybe the 32 yard line. Yeah, he's going to be slow to get up. Officials timeout on the field. We have a hurt leopard. That is number 12, Evan Myers. And, and obviously looks like he's grabbing the leg, knee. Does look like he's grabbing a knee. Yeah, Evan had a pretty good steam going through there and then the – the linebacker safety, whatever, when he hit him, had, had, I mean, that, that was a pretty violent collision. Tell you and, what, we'll take a timeout while they tend to Evan, and we'll be back after this. Yeah. 
Welcome you back to DeWitt. Leopards facing a fourth and six on the 32-yard line. Evan is walking off a little bit of a limp, yeah. now kind of going to his own power. Yeah. Good to see that. Hope he's yeah. okay. You know, fourth and 12, you probably don't go for it. You probably punt it. Fourth and six, yeah, it's a different matter and because uh, you've, you've passed their 40-yard line, so almost to, their, almost to their 30. You don't get a lot by punting it. And six yards is certainly well within the – Reasonable range to pick up yardage here. Watson can throw it. Will be Braylon Watson yeah. looking to throw. Got, got Dupree it. out there. He shakes off the first man. I believe he he's going to be it. short, guys. He didn't get it. He going to be about a yard short. And the Dragons will take over on downs. Talk about number eight, Ben Hackney for the Dragons. Yeah, he went to Dupree. He also had, you know, it. Uh, and they did finally signal first down for DeWitt. Yeah. So Leopards, Leopards, Leopards need to go ahead and buck up here and uh, get ready because I'm telling you what, I think the air is going to be full of footballs. They've had, I mean, they had guys wide yes, open in the first half. We've open. been very fortunate. So hopefully. Hopefully we figured out where those busted coverages were because the post up, the post routes were open yeah, a lot Twin, in the first half. Twins to each side. Ashcraft, handoff up the middle. Nothing there. Breaks off the first man, but Jabral Artis is there again to push him backwards. And that may be a gain of one. And, you know, just once again, we're calling out Jabra's name. He's just been a – Really, I would say probably the best player on the football field today for either oh, yeah. team. I mean, yeah. he's just we, – we call his name over and over again. He's read everything perfectly from that, you know, kind of defensive end, outside linebacker hybrid position that he plays out there. And uh, he, he's, he's, he's another one. We knew, we knew as a sophomore he was going to be pretty good. Yeah. And he's lived up to the billing too. Second no. nine, fake the give, pass over the middle, no. going to be incomplete. You know, the, you, you were talking about this earlier, Ben, the quarterback there just short-armed that one. I think he's had the, the, the passes drop so many of them. It looks like he's just kind of short, kind of guide him in there to get something going. Big yeah, third down here. You know, when you, when you have a number of drops, I think you're, you're afraid to really let it rip because yeah. Yeah. it is cold. It is The wind is blowing. I mean, you can see every stripe and every star on the American flag right now. I yeah. mean, it's really whipping out there. And, you know, it's hard to catch the football, and he's had a lot of drops. And so sometimes you think, well, maybe I need to put it in there a little lighter, a little softer. But that's when you – Third That's when nine. you don't put it Ashcraft on the money. to get throw. some pressure on him. Now forced out, oh, and wow. Angel Perez and a host of Leopards are going to meet him right at the line of scrimmage. Well, that was great coverage down there by, uh, by our D-backs, by our safeties. Uh, Golden, Golden had his man blanketed. Braylon had his man blanketed, and there just wasn't any place to go. Gold, they, were, they were running side by side with those guys. Going to be fourth and nine. Dylon Caradine back to receive for the Leopards. Omarion Harris on to punt for the Dragons. Leopards in punt safe. Punt is away. Pretty good punt. Fair caught by Dylon Caradine at the 35-yard line. That's a, big stop. Over from there. That's a big stop by the Leopards, guys, to get to go ahead and, and once, you know, they, we turn it over on downs because we get another untimely penalty and uh, sets up, uh, an, you know, a really tough, I will say it again, was second and third and 20 and four. You know, anyway, <laughs> to stop them and uh, get the ball back with uh, seven minutes and 39 seconds in the third quarter, leading this one 21 to seven. Uh, we need another touchdown, Sam. Yep. Looks like it's Braylon Watson and Jalen Dupree coming out. I believe it's going to be Dupree taking the snap. Twins right, split left. Snap is to Dupree, looking to room. Got, room. got, got a lot of room. room. Got a lot of room. 
Nice block oh, by Carter well, Martin. Carter Martin, as Carter Debris Martin gonna really run out of bounds just short of the 15 yard line, and we got a flag, maybe a late hit. Well, I was going to say Carter Martin did everything, stayed away from uh, getting the block in the back and whatever, and just an outstanding block over there by Martin to have been. And this would be a really bad time for DeWitt for this to be their first penalty because, you know, already that close and. If you move us half the distance from there, I mean, that would be a killer penalty, and it is going to be against the whip. <laughs> we are close to I, some of the fans I, here. I believe Dupree was out of bounds, and when he was hit by the Dragon player, and that will be half the distance. First and goal now for the Leopards at the nine-yard line. Dupree in at quarterback, Watson to his right, twins right, split left. Here's the snap, Dupree looking to run up the middle. We have flags and the uh -oh. Leopards may be going backwards again. Boy, I tell you what, I, I'm, looks like we, I'm gonna say we moved, illegal procedure, yeah. golly. You know, every, every, every drive that has not ended successfully for us has had some sort of self-inflicted wound, whether it's, whether it's well, holding penalties that get you way behind the sticks or, or the, the fumble. Uh, to, DeWitt hasn't stopped us yet. Yeah. You know, we, we've I've stopped seen, ourselves a few times. I will tell you this, though. I've seen like five of those on us now, and I've seen at least three different times their receivers left before the ball was snapped, and not one flag has flown the other way. Nevertheless, twins right, split left. Dupree in at quarterback. Here's the snap. Dupree looking to run. Looks like he's going to bounce into the outside, then cuts it back up. Going to get over the 10 deck down to the 9-yard line a, and get the penalty yardage back. That's about yeah. where we started. Yeah, he was falling big number 76 in there, right behind Vinny. And uh, that's not a bad place to run behind. It's not, and it's a good sign when your offensive line is five yards downfield and, yeah. and they've taken the blue jerseys with them. Yeah. Twins right, split left, second and goal from the nine-yard line. Dupree takes the snap, looking to run on the left hole. side. He's got room, lowers Touchdown. the shoulder. He's in. Touchdown, yes, Leopards. Finally, they A little yeah. bit of a slow call yeah, there, but we'll I, take it. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, Dupree has an opportunity. This, this is his kid. He has an opportunity to sidestep that guy. What does he do? He just bowls, tries yeah. to bowl him over. You know, and uh, we, we were talking earlier about the other number two, Harold Harris. Harold the, Harris. the story that yeah. I that I always tell people is, Harold was kind of mean <laughs> at running the football. He'd juke yep. once, and yep. and if you didn't get out of the way, that was your fault. Yep. He's going to lower his shoulder, and and that was your fault for not moving. Yeah, the deuce was going to run over you. He, he 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 would look for you to run over you. Rodeo on to attempt the extra point. Kick is away. And it's yep. good. And I definitely see a little Harold Harris in, in yep. Jalen Dupree's game. Yeah, yeah. The way he runs the football. 6.47 left in the third quarter. Leopards lead this one 28-7. We'll be back after this. Teal Dentistry is a proud supporter of Malvern Athletics. Doctors Jesse and Matt Teal provide a full family dentistry service. From checkups to cleanings to dentures, Teal Dentistry loves working with patients of all ages and strives to make every smile bright. Stop by and meet the friendly staff at Teal Dentistry and let them brighten your smile. Teal Dentistry, 927 South Main Street in Malvern, or call for an appointment, 501-337-9559. Welcome you back here to DeWitt as your Leopards lead the DeWitt Dragons 28-7 with 647 left here in the third quarter. Having some trouble getting the ball to stay yeah. on the tee. Rodea now has it set. Probably looking at a sky kick, just yeah. depending on if we're going right or left with it. Probably going to try to keep it away from Hackney, if I had to guess. Nope, we'll kick it right, right to, to him. Right to yep. him. Going up that sideline. Right line. to the 20. And he's got room to run again, guys. He may be gone. He's gone. That's Jesus Rodea, the only one that's going to catch him. And he and got he it. he does. I mean, they must do. I tell you what. They must do an outstanding job coming to that sideline and setting up a wall. I mean, that's three times that's happened, guys. I mean, well, that, I mean that's really, great. really good special team play by the Dragons. Our kick coverage coach is pulling his hair out right now. There is a flag. Block in the back. That's helpful. That is very helpful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that may, that, listen, that could be part of the reason he's, he's going 60 yards. Somebody was listening to the broadcast, and 
dialed that in. Hey, you guys haven't called any penalties against the wit. <laughs> well, we'll give you a couple here. We'll give you a couple. You got a couple? We got you a couple. Well, yeah. And, boy, they have been costly. Yeah. Very, very costly. That took what would have been about a first and goal situation now to yeah. a first and ten Boy, around the 23-yard line. And what we did is we uh, – we just we just made Hackney get a little winded too, so that's another plus because he ran a long way. <laughs> yeah, nice job there by Rodea not giving up. Well, really, that's what I was going to yeah. say. Rodea really didn't give up and really you know came back across there. First and ten from the twenty-three. Ashcraft brings them to the line. Twins to each side, back to his right. Looking to throw. Got his man out there. Breaks the first tackle. That was a block room. in the back, and they got, got it. They got it, yeah. We got flags flying yeah. again. They got Carradine. And, and uh, I just want to say that this back judge has phenomenal aim. <laughs> that thing had some arc on it. He had it, and, I mean, it landed right at the feet of where of where the flag was. I mean, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yards in the air. Yeah, yeah. That Steve Laverne, that that's one. That's my cornhole partner. That, that's, I want that's, him. That's, 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 that's my cornhole partner. I can throw a flag quarter mile. Yeah. Hey. You see the mountains over there? And Steve Laverne <laughs> says <laughs> still holds a story on the longest thrown flag. So, uh, but that's close. Better for him though, I think. But boy, that was close. Well, that really digs a hole for them now. Now going to be first and twenty-three. Ball on the ten-yard line. I think that he originally had a pretty good block, but he Dylan turned around. He got to where he got kind of between him and the ball yeah. and the ball carrier on the screen, and he just kept blocking him. And you can't keep blocking him when you when you when you got your back to him. Twins right, split left, back to the right of Ashcraft. Here's the snap. Fakes the give, looking to throw Seymour. And that may be pass interference. It was a nice catch by Lucky. But Lufkin. they're not going to call it. Yeah, that's that one, Seth, you were talking about where they just kind of throw it up there. Actually, it's thrown a little bit short in the, in the back. I mean, the receiver just turns around and, and waits for the ball to get there. Well, they had that one last possession and underthrew it. That yeah. one was better thrown, but better covered there by Mountain. Yes, it was. The first one was Excellent. wide open. Yeah. That one was well covered, just... Almost nice to the catch. point that it, it very well could have been passed. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yes. Yeah, you Either know, way. Depends on how you feel about it. Well, I felt like he was touching him well before the <laughs> yeah, ball got to him, too. Hey, I've tripped. That's right. Awesome. <laughs> for, me, for me to say it could be pass <laughs> interference, that's saying a lot, and it Trip, could have been. Trips right, split left, pass out to oh, the left boy. side. And, and oh, right wow. now, Angel is just wishing he had turned around about a half second earlier and, because and, and he would have been able to put the brakes on and intercept yeah. that one. Yeah, and Caradine's thinking I just overran it. That, there was, we had two shots at that one. Going to be third and eight now. Ball on the 28 or 25-yard line. My apologies. 5.27 left here in the third quarter. They do a really good job of mixing those outs with the post because if yeah. you guess out – Yep. And then they hit the post, you're going to be behind. Gonna now, we've been fortunate that they've dropped it a couple of times. Twins to each side. We're Ashcraft sending, looking we're sending, now he's running the post. Sending, yeah, we got pressure. Now, we, we got home. There. Boy, I tell you what. Uh, Angel, Angel Perez. Angel Perez went up there. When I said they're sending them, sending, that's when Angel had taken off. And uh, he he didn't go in untouched, but uh, he got back there and uh, really disrupted everything. Bring it up fourth and uh, what, about 12, 13 for him, yeah. Seth? I would say and right 14, there, if, if, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can rewind a little bit and see that uh, – the number two, the receiver, Dagan Moser, closest to us. He, he actually faked the out and then ran the post. Now, we were fortunate that we got the got the sack there, but that's kind of what they do. Oh, short and punt. Harris's punt is away. away. It lands at the 50. Going to yeah. take a DeWitt bounce, but not much of one. Going to be down to around the 47, 46-yard line. Leopards will take over there. We just need the Leopards, really, guys, to keep doing what we're doing, running the ball, running the ball, and uh, stay away from, from penalties and uh, keep things going the way they are, man. Yeah, and I, what's I'm glad what's I, really I cut you with a pull. That did that. I cut you with a drink of water. Yep, dr <laughs> drinking this Gatorade Zero right here. But uh, it, what's really impressive to me is – we really expected them to be much better against the run. I mean, yeah. you know, y'all talked to uh, to their commentating team uh, before, yep. and they said that, that stopping that the run is their strength. This yeah. is a conference where they've seen a lot of teams run the football, and they've been pretty good against it. So I'm, this is makes this running attack with the Leopards have even more impressive tonight. 
Dupree takes the snap, looking to run up the middle. Nicely read there by the Dragons. I think that's more accustomed to what they've been seeing this year. Yeah. Good sportsmanship there displayed, too, helping Dupree up. No gain there, going to be a second and ten. And really good sportsmanship on both sides oh, yeah. all day yeah, today. All day. Both of yeah. these teams yeah. have played really hard. Yeah. We can sit here and talk about the late hit over there, but, I mean, that's just kids playing hard. hard. Sometimes yeah. that happens. No, I don't think it was malicious. And, uh, by no, not oh, at no, all. No, no, no. Sometimes yeah. you just get lost on where that, where that, who's in where, you know, where the out-of-bounds lines is. And guys are running like they still are in bounds. So just, just a well-played, hard-fought football game. Second 10. Dupree takes the snap, looking to run off the left side. Going to drag a man forward across the 50-yard line down to the 49. Make it around a third and five. Yeah, it looks like about from where I'm standing right, looking right at it, I'm going to call it third and five. One, one thing we haven't seen is uh, Evan Myers come back in the game since he went out with injury. So you just – don't necessarily anticipate him coming back in. So if you're going to throw it, it's going to be number four that throws it. And uh, he is the one that's going to be taking the snap. So those little jump passes are certainly in play right here. Twins right, split left. It is a little jump pass out there. Tipped and oh dropped. Man, Dupree it was tipped it. and Dupree then Dupree had, had, a, had a chance had an opportunity at it. There. Oh. Oh, oh! Now oh, it's now oh. it's decision time. It is, and I don't know I don't know what what the card says <laughs> right here. Fourth and Analytic. five, midfield. Analytics say punt it. I believe it's saying punt. Yeah, we've had success stopping them, and uh, well, let's not give them really good field position. Let's no, see. there it is. I was saying, I was watching McAllister run yeah. towards the sideline, but now yeah. he comes back out. Yeah. Number nine, Chase McAllister. Yeah, well, we don't have many formations on offense where uh, Vinny Winters is going to be five yards behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> Good snap. Nice snap. Punt is away. Into the wind. Now nice. bounce the right direction. Yeah. I believe uh, it's going to land out of bounds, I think. Maybe not. Oh, right, yeah. at the, right at the no, – Right at the – Oh, back. boy. Whoa, whoa, stop. 22, 23, 24, 20, yeah, I don't know, 23. Yeah. yeah. About a 25, 26-yard punt. Not bad for a net in yeah. high school. Yeah, you would like to. You would like to get a little little air under the ball and get a little more out of it with the wind at your back. But uh, uh, well, here's the other part of it. I mean, they've they've hurt us. In they've had a couple of long returns. We were fortunate that one of them was was called back, and I know those were kick returns, but. Special teams returns or special teams returns. That's right. Special teams got to be special. Twins right, split left. Two backs in the backfield. Give is to one right up the middle. He breaks the first tackle. Now got some room to run. Going to be down near the line to gain. That was number 40, Xander Bonert. Yeah. Bonert. Boner just didn't quit. Xander would got up there and he got into kind of a scrum a little bit, kept those legs working and uh, jumped – Turned off to his left and uh, picked up a first and ten. Ten yards. He is going to be first and ten from the 34-yard line. 249 and counting left here in the third quarter. Leopards lead 28-7. Going to be twins right, split left. Ashcraft has a back to each side. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw. Now going to step up and release one deep. Carter Martin and Good Carter. Play by Carter, Carter. Martin knocks it away. Boy, Carter had his back to it, turns around, finds the ball, knocks it away. I mean, that's – And what, what, what the Leopards did there, what it appeared to be, is that we gave him a cover one look with one safety deep, but then it ended up looking more like a cover three coverage because both corners were bailing early and yep. getting deep into, in, into a deep zone. and So it looks like it's man-to-man, -man, and that's a great time to throw the deep – Pass to the right, but in, in fact, we had somebody run into a deep Second zone back 10 there. And yeah. we have a flag, might be our first false start. Flag on the play. Yeah. False start against the That'll back the Dragons up five. Five, five yeah. yard penalty to move the ball back to the 29 yard line brings up second down and 15. And you know, one of the things you can do if you're getting, and we have been, let's, let's be honest, we've we have been beat with you know, receivers getting open. Broken coverages. We've been fortunate they haven't caught it. If you can disguise your coverages, that's going to help you prevent some of those broken coverages. Yeah. Two minutes and 30 seconds left here in the third. Leopards leading this one 28 to 7. Twins to each side. Second and 15. Ball on the 29 yard line. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw, trying to set up a screen. He's got Boner. They did a good job setting it up. Just I, didn't I like, get that's, enough. That's Lubke. Completes the number 11, Owen Lubke. 
Yeah. He's going to pick up seven or eight. Now it's going to make it around third and six or seven. Yeah, that was that was a well designed, well well set up screen. But uh, Leopard did a really good job of reacting back to it and keeping it from going any further than it did. Call it third and six from the 38 yard. Now line. we got Watson playing man to man in, in like a corner over here. Gonna Malvern gonna take a timeout with 1:54 left here in the third quarter. Leopards are leading 28-7. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Welcome you back to DeWitt. Dragons facing a third and six from the 38-yard line. Twins to each side. Ashcraft takes the snap, looking to throw. Got a man out there. He's got room to run up over the 50-yard line. It'll be a first down to Witt. Yeah, Watson looked like he was going to fake a blitz off the outside. And yeah. We kind of ran himself out of it. They ran the, you know, uh, what, the running back out to the flat, and he couldn't quite catch up, and he was able to get to the – or it might have been a wide receiver screen, but I mean he, he was able to get to the edge and kind of like a bubble screen. And Watson couldn't Watson yeah. couldn't cover the ground. It, it, it's one of those if he doesn't fake the blitz, he probably stops that yeah. behind the line of scrimmage. Yep. Yeah. Or it could have been that he was supposed to call it off when he saw the guy cross his face yeah, and he didn't call it off in time. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw again, flush from the pocket. I don't know how that's not a hold. But Ashcraft is off and loose. He's going to run out of bounds just yeah. short of the 30-yard line. We had a guy get absolutely tackled. Yeah. Running out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Interesting. Carry is 31-yard line. Carry is good enough. 110 left here in the third quarter. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Going to be twins to each side. Lubke to the right of Ashcraft. Malvern looking like they're in a cover two. Ashcraft looking to throw. Got a man on an out route. And he's got room to run again. Nice play Good by Angel tackle. Perez. He's going to bring him down right or just short of the 20. Going to call it a first down for the Dragons. Well, they are really spreading out. I mean, you yes, see those, those well. wide receivers are about as close to the sideline as you can well, get. Well, that's what Coach Plumley said they're going to do. If the runner's not going to work, they're going to spread you out. And, and that's exactly what they've done. Uh, and they go sideline to sideline. Yeah. Those they, wide receivers hug the sideline. And they started doing that at the end of the second quarter. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to run up the middle. Angel Perez. Yep, he read that beautifully. Hunter Adams. Quarterback keeper up the middle. And I believe Aaron DeVore, maybe. Yeah. Big time play. Yeah, but uh, Perez was the first one there, and he just absolutely read it beautifully. And, you know, they tried to – that was a design run. They tried to freeze the linebackers, but Angel was all over it. Well, I don't believe – I believe they're going to wait. They're going to run the – Run it down to the start the third quarter at the other end. and uh, Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter at the end of the third. Yeah, at the end of the third, Malvern leads this one 28-7. We'll be back after some words from our sponsors. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Kasasa checking. Ask for free Kasasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Welcome you back into DeWitt. We had a uh, update from Coach Rogers. He wanted to make sure we were uh, mentioning Sean Mitchell as the one-two punch with Harold Harris. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Sean. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about Sean here in a minute. Oh, oh screen oh, dropped. Oh, oh. I thought Adams we had. Well read. So Lee, Sean Mitchell was uh, also. We had the two best running backs in the conference. Yep. There's no question about it. Absolutely. Sean Mitchell and Harold Absolutely. Harris. Absolutely. Um, you know, when Coach Sean, Alpe, we ran the I formation, and uh, we really didn't deviate from that. And so, the best way to get them both in the game was to move one of them to fullback. Sean was the uh, one that got moved to fullback, and when we ran 34, there wasn't a fullback in the state of Arkansas, maybe the country, that could run it like Sean Mitchell. 
Oh, right. Right. You know, and the there sad thing be. about it too, Sean got, uh, I think it was a toe injury or whatever that uh, slowed him down a little bit. Uh, but I mean, when he went on and played, uh, played ball on, on, on Saturdays after that. Great yeah. kid, uh, him and Harold both. And uh, like you said, they're, they're at one time. You know, you talk about the dynamic duo. I do. Coach Rogers is exactly right. And it, 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 I mean, I, I'm, I don't know everybody's best one-two punch in in Arkansas history, but I'm going to tell you that that that's the yeah. best one-two the punch, punch I've ever I, seen in high school football. Me too, and I've, I've I've got old eyes. There was a false start, so it will be third and fifteen for the Dragons. There's that. There's that. Floater. Looking for a corner route. Tyler Gold and it's intercepted. It between it. intercepts it. That's one thing that. Yeah. Go ahead. I was going to say we have a flag, but we don't. Just a yellow <laughs> article of clothing down there. Seth was telling us earlier about this one. They float that ball down there, float the ball down there, and boom, we jump on it. Good jobs. I'll take it. I think it might have been Ben, but I'll take it. <laughs> was it Ben? It was Ben. <laughs> oh, you, weren't, <laughs> you weren't here yet. I'm sorry. That was, oh, <laughs> that was so it's going to be like that. I was, I was here for that, actually. That was I remember being You were here on time. That was unnecessary. <laughs> I, I was here for that. I did hear oh, that. Oh, like you guys never take a shot at me? <laughs> <laughs> never, never. Never. But, you know, let's, let's don't forget that the important thing was is that it was me that said that. That's true. That was you. It, it was, it was Ben Dow. I, I uh, Give, uh, give credit I, I, when credit's due. Oh, now we're starting to see some DeWitt fans uh, pack up. It's too cold yeah. for this nonsense. Tyler Golden's interception gives the Leopards the ball on the four-yard line. Will be uh, Jalen Dupree takes the snap. Not a whole lot there. Looks like he may have got back to the line of scrimmage and bring up a second and ten. You know, guys, a couple of first and tens here and take some time off. And... Uh, uh, it could be dangerous for the Dragons. It's already dangerous for the Dragons. It could be fatal. Yeah, I, I told Seth I was waiting on a Lord of the Rings reference because he likes to give us uh, Dickens, <laughs> what who, about, what about, who was a British author. So about, is Tolkien. I'll keep what waiting about for game, What about Game of Thrones? What's that? Oh, you read that, or did you just watch the yeah. HBO series? Yeah, I don't neither really, honestly. Just know oh. about it. Oh, that hot hole closed quick. Debris takes the snap. He's going to pick up one or two there. Yeah. I do know that there was a mother of dragons in that, though. So, well, leopards, leopards need to get out from behind the, I'm out the shadow of their own goal here and uh, get a first and ten. And uh, it's a big third down here, guys. It's not a, you know. It's not a game changer. It may be, but uh, we well, what, what, why it's important is you'd like to pick up the first down yeah. because if you punt from here, they're going to get really yeah, good field absolutely. position, and then you turn around and it's two score game with eight minutes. It's still you haven't you haven't punched your ticket yet by any means, but third and eight will be Dupree taking the snap, fakes the give to Harris. He's, now bounces to the outside. Got it. He's got he's room to get run, it. gets across the ten, the fifteen, yeah. and drug down just short of the twenty yard line. First down left. And that's just a heartbreaker for, yeah. for if you're if you're a DeWitt fan because you you feel like just like I said, if you can get a stop, you get a punt. You get the ball probably around your, the Leopard 40-yard line. Yeah. You score with seven minutes left. Yeah. Two scores with seven or eight minutes is very doable. Uh, but now the Leopards are going to, if well, short of a turnover, they're probably going to be able to run another two or three minutes off the clock. That was a well-designed play because the linebackers went with, uh, with, with Harris, and then it was too late when, when Dupree could come back the other way. Going to be Braylon Watson on the carry right up the middle. Pick up about four yards there. And now we, uh, we look to take the air out of the ball faster than the Patriots did a few years ago. Oh. I'm just helping Ben out. A habitual <laughs> Bills fan over here and take a few shots at his nemesis for so many years. Yep, yep. 9.35 and counting left in this one. Malvern leading 28-7. Looking at a second and six. Going to be Watson in at quarterback with Dupree to his right. Here's the snap. Fakes to Dupree. Will be Watson. Not a whole lot there. Nothing there. Driven backwards. May have lost a yard there. Yeah, it brings up another third down here for the Leopards. We, I'm telling you, I, I, I wouldn't be quite as nervous if we get one more first and ten, Ben. No, not at all. But I can't imagine that we put the ball in the air. No. I just I think that you know you're you're willing to risk having to punt in this situation to you know have another 45 to 55 seconds click off the you know tick off the clock. Yeah. 
Because every second is precious right now. Yeah, particularly for the Dragons. Third and seven. Here's the snap. Watson Ooh. looking to run, and he is wow. dropped in the backfield. Man. Nice play by Lupke. Boy, Lupke. Lupke's really played a good game, both offensively and defensively. And uh, that was uh, – that's one of those great iPad tackles right there. Yeah, yeah, it was a great iPad. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a vanilla-looking series for the uh, for the Leopards there on, on that series. But anyway, <laughs> got it out from the nine. I love it. We're to the point we have inside jokes. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, you know, I got a text about that <laughs> iPad joke. So Chase McAllister on to punt for the Leopards. A text, but not a textbook. Yeah. Absolutely. Punt angled toward the Leopard sideline, going to go out of bounds. Not a very long punt. Going to be down at the 39-yard line. Yeah, that's uh, – And Ben kind of said get the ball around the 40, didn't you? That's what happened. And it's good to see that the DeWitt Dragon has his head on the right way now. We, yeah. He was running around with the hat with his head on backwards. Yeah, he it's like the him. exorcist. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't spinning. It was – well, it might spin yet, but anyway. But now the Dragon's got its head on yeah. straight. Twins right. Twins left. Back to the right of Ashcraft. Here's the snap. Out, oh. route. High but complete. A little bit of room to run now. So he's going to get over the 25 down to around the 24. First down, Dragons. Really good job by Ben Hackney on the outside, keeping Caradine from being able to get there. If you're going to run the screen game, your, your wide receivers better be prepared to block and stick with it. And Hackney did a, did a really good job of, of blocking. I mean, it, it could have possibly been a hole, but he kept his hands inside the shoulder pads, and so they're, they're rarely going to call that. Twins to each side. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw. Same play to the other side. Ooh. And I tell you what. There was almost a hold out there. On well, the but not even a hold. There's almost blocking before the ball is caught. I mean, there, there's not even really yeah. an attempt to run a route yeah. there by the outside receiver. He's yeah. going to block immediately. Number two was all over Carter Martin. And you know, one thing that's interesting about this, guys, though, is that DeWitt isn't in much of a hurry no, in between what, no, plays. No, no, that's what I, I was noticing a while ago. It's 647 and counting, and they're three scores down. Twins to each side. It's second and two. Here's the snap. Ashcraft fakes looking to run. Now going to throw, and he's got Lovekey. Well, does he? Incomplete. No, he dropped it. dropped it. Knocked it loose. Dropped it. Lovekey did not Looked survive like, the ground. I think Tyler Golden got in oh, there and punched yeah. the ball out yeah. right around the goal line yeah. before he had a chance to yeah, haul it in. Yeah, he didn't. I don't need it. Yep. Well, now they're having a conference. You can't go back. You made the call. You made it the is call. What it is. You cannot go back. And they're calling. It's incomplete. Incomplete. Maybe they just had to huddle. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? There it is. Okay. The ball. Did, did the you ball? see the ball? Did you? There it is. Okay. Yeah, he was wide open. Across the middle. We missed him. Now it's going to be third and two from the 16-yard line. Here's the other conversation is if, if Golden actually would have knocked it out of his hands before he crossed the goal line, then we would have been looking at a touchback situation. Yeah. I think he was in the end zone. Ashcraft looking to run. Nothing there. Now bounces it outside. It's going to be close. I think he, think he has it, actually. Uh, it depends on the spot. We're stopping the clock over here, so I'm assuming they're going to, yeah. Uh, first, first down. Yeah. First down to it. Yeah. Stop the clock to move the chains, and uh, six minutes and 24 seconds left in this one. Yeah, that's the debate. I think he caught the ball in the end zone, but was hit and went to the ground and didn't hold on to it. So it's, do you survive the ground, or do you grow it's a touchdown when he steps down? I, you know, I don't know. But nevertheless, it goes the Leopards' way. Twins left. Ashcraft, or Ashcraft looking to throw. Got a man wide, wide open. open. Wow. And wow. I hope I he don't caught know that. He caught that. I think that might be a makeup call. Wow, wow. You talk about busted coverage. We've had some. Come on, look, look, guys. Honestly, we've had some really busted coverages it's, tonight. We have had that. Hackney dove for that one, and I'm going to be honest with you, he didn't catch it. I mean, the. <laughs> That ball hit the ground and moved clear as day. I'm not sure it wasn't a makeup call for the the previous incomplete. Yeah. Well, now we gotta we gotta survive and get through a. Well, you know the onside, onside kick's kick. coming. The onside kick's coming, and uh, 
we should end up with really good field position. Pino on to attempt the extra point. It's That's low, wow. and wow. it is uh, caught by Tyler Golden. No good. No good. I hope not, but that could come back to haunt them, you know. It absolutely could. With 5.54 left here. The, re in the, the reason I say that, I hope it doesn't get that close. Right. Well, I, I hear you. Uh, we will go to commercial with Leopards leading 28-13. We'll be back after this. Daniel Heat and Air provides both residential and commercial heating and cooling services. Daniel Heat and Air is family owned and operated and takes great pride in making their customers feel like family. With over 40 years of service in the Hot Springs and Central Arkansas area, Daniel is ready to serve your needs with certified technicians on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For your heat and air needs, call Daniel Heat and Air at 501-293-0782. Welcome you back to DeWitt. Leopards leading in this one 28-13, 5.54 left in the ball game. Well, they Pena kick. on to kick off. It's been an onside kick every time, and the trend continues. Uh, we're Covered get by off. Leopards, but I believe it's going to be offsides yep. on the kicking team. Which is unfortunate because we were going to get that one pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, if anything, that really could work in uh, the Dragons' favor. It absolutely could. I mean, it's almost like why wouldn't you? I mean, if you, <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah, that's one you should have the option on, but you can't do that. So we will re-kick from the 35-yard line. Paying you again. We've only seen onside kicks, so pretty sure that's what's coming again we're sure he we're sure they're coming to their right too so that's why that's where they're stacked up kick is away fielded by the leopards and he's got it going to be first and 10 from the 45 yard line good job by kyson biggs he yeah just, kyson was in there and uh, came right to him good job you know and and but you, you you always have that decision do i do i wait on it do i sit on it at 11 <laughs> yeah you know, but the ball was moving so slowly yep. that if you sit there and you wait on it, then you're putting yourself in a bad position because they can they can clean your clock before oh, yeah. the ball even gets oh, yeah. there. And yeah. so he made the, he actually I think actually got that ball nine yards, uh, one, one yard one short of ten I, is what I think happened. Uh, he got knocked backwards and they put they spotted the ball, I, I think a yard back where it should be. But uh, really good decision, heads up play by Kyston to just go get it, go get it and fall on it, get the football. First and 10 from the 45. Will be Dupree taking the snap and Dupree looking to run up the middle. Gonna be down to around the 40 yard line. Gonna pick up five on first down and more importantly, the clock is running as the Leopards are five minutes and 45 seconds away from a trip to Rivercrest next Friday night. Yeah, and that, which is the, about as far as you can go <laughs> from Malvern, Arkansas, and still play a state playoff. Still, game. Yeah, yeah, you can throw a rock and hit with Missouri and Kentucky and what now? Where are we? <laughs> Tennessee, all yeah. of them. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Nowhere near Oklahoma. Uh, right? Yeah, go in the wrong direction, going away from God's country. Second and five from the forty. Man split to each side. Will be Dupree taking the snap. Watson to his right. Here's the snap. Dupree looking to run. Nothing there. Nothing there. Wow. Now, but, and now uh, he's fighting you know, forward. Does a good job of getting back near the line of scrimmage. But we we both sat there, Ben, and say nothing there, nothing there. Dupree keeps his keeps his feet under him, keeps his legs, and uh, gets back basically to the first original or his line of scrimmage that could have been lost about three or four. Yeah, I mean, it's like he's just going by each each one of those linemen with a hand right on their back and just waiting for one of them to get a yeah. little bit of a push. Yeah. And once once one has a push, and he just, ah, oh, that's, what, that's where it is, and dug his head. And just to get back to the line of scrimmage on that particular play was a, was a win for him. Yeah. Big third down here. First and ten here would go a long way, guys. Three on the play clock. We didn't get it. So we gotta have we have a timeout. Okay. Wave the flag off. Malvern will take their last timeout. Four minutes and twenty-three seconds left. Leopards lead this one 28-13. Welcome you back to DeWitt. Leopards facing a third and six from the 41-yard line. 
Four minutes and 23 seconds left in this one. Dupree on to take the snap. Goes right. to him, fakes the give to Watson. Now looking to run and just got right, not ran. a whole lot there. He's going to get to right. the 40, maybe 39. Ran right smack into their their linebacker, and the linebacker just broke down and did a really good open field tackle. Okay, guys, how you do here? I, uh, I, I don't I don't know. I'd, <laughs> I'd be uncomfortable because this is – I, I think we'll probably go for it. I think you go for it, run, run another 23 seconds off the clock, take it down under, you know, almost a – about three minutes. And he's gonna, they're going to punt it. He's going to punt it. I think I think we are. Uh, you can't argue with it either way. Now at least you make him go the length of the field. To yeah. it down two scores right now. Four, Maybe three, Maybe we're going to be taking two. a delay of game yeah, penalty taking, too. Yeah. I'll give you some updates on yeah. the uh, – Give you some updates on, on the, the conference. The conference has a chance, a real chance, to go 5-0 and today. Robinson all over Little Rock Mills, 35 to nothing. That was a halftime score. Arkadelphia has now jumped out. They were close. They were actually behind the Clinton. Now they're ahead 36-20 to at half. Well, we've got Fountain Lake knotted up with Pocahontas at 28 in the fourth quarter. We'll let this play go. Good snap. McAllister's punt oh, is that, away. That's a very service, serviceable punt. Nice Gonna land job. around the 20 and yeah. roll out of bounds somewhere around the 18 or so. And Ashdown up two scores, 28 to 14 over Lone Oak. So uh, there's a couple of games still relatively close, but it, if Fountain Lake can somehow manage to Knock off Pocahontas and what would have to be considered an upset. That'd have to be, yeah. uh, the conference could very well be five and zero going into uh, yeah, going into the second week. Particularly short-handed as Fountain Lake is. Here's the snap. Ashcraft looking to throw, setting up a screen. Got his man Bernhardt. Got a lot of room to run. He's up over the 35 to around the 37-yard line. 317 left on the clock. All three timeouts left for Dewitt. But Dewitt still got to hurry. They got to. They got to get yeah. up and they got to be ready to snap it soon. Like all of this is unnecessary waste of time for them. They got, they got a man in motion, another man in motion. They're spending a lot of time trying to get in the right formation yeah. here. Trips right, twins left. Here's and the snap. Ashcraft left looking to throw. Got a man out to the outside. Going to be hit and, well, I was going to say hit and drop, but he just and he didn't get out of bounds. For the first out of down. bounds. Critical error to not get out of bounds. The clock will stop for the first down change to move, but they'll start it once the ball is set and the chains are set. There he started it. 250 and counting. Ball on the 49-yard line. And it's cold. I don't think the officials are going to cut them any slack on keeping the clock from running. Set up a tunnel screen here. Nicely read by Malvern yep. this time. Well, that's a play where you don't want to give up five yards in the first quarter, but in this situation, yeah. you'll give up five yards because it's going to take a long time to get there. That was Braylon Watson making that play. 226 left and counting. Two, or second and seven, ball on the 48-yard line. Twins to each side, back to the right of Ashcraft. Here's the snap, low but fielded by Ashcraft, looking to throw. Got a man over the middle, wide open. He's got it at the 15, the 10, five, and he's going to score. Gonna wow. 206 left in the ball game, and we have a whole new ball game. They're going to have to go for two, either now or if they try to. I think you go Score, for one but I think you, I, I, I would imagine they'd go for two here. That way they know if they need one or two scores. Yeah. And uh, the coach Plumley told me this morning he thought it would come down to the fourth quarter who's going to win this ball game, and uh, it's going to. 2.06 left in this one. DeWitt scores to possibly pull within one score. But if you hold them here, then it's it, – it, it's almost the same situation we were at five minutes, you know, because now it's a two-score game. So, yeah. really, really big stop. This could be the dagger. Ashcraft looking to throw. We got, got a man. flag flying. It's got to be a hold. He's going to get in, but there's flags everywhere. And so now, here's the new decision for <laughs> – here's the new decision, assuming this is going to go against the wit. Well, there wasn't – I mean – Now you probably kick the extra call. point. If this goes against the wit, I got to think they're going to kick the extra point. 
Illegal procedure. He told, he explained to the coach what it was. That is going to back the Dragons up. Yeah. Because you got to feel more comfortable, I would imagine, with yeah. getting the extra point here and then getting the two-point conversion later if you've only got to go from the two as opposed to the, or the three as opposed to uh, the eight. Yeah. And it will be an extra point attempt by Pena. Yeah, and that's uh, maybe. Eight can take off and run with it. Kick is away. And it is good. So with 2.06 well, left in this one. Can't left, breathe easy yet. 28-20. We'll be back after this. I'm Jennifer Schneigel, Malvern High School principal. And as a lifetime leopard and a ready myself, I think it is fantastic that our students have the opportunity to earn the Leopard Ready Scholarship. It combines our leopard pride and the ready spirit to help set our students up for success. Malvern High School seniors who complete the honors program or complete six hours of college credit while maintaining a 3.3 GPA are eligible for the Leopard Ready Scholarship. Welcome you back into DeWitt as that latest score pulls the Dragons to within eight points with two minutes left or two minutes and six seconds left on the clock. We'll be anticipating another onside kick. And another big thing about that long touchdown, guys, is DeWitt did not have to use a single timeout. And they didn't, yeah. So didn't even if any. they don't recover this here, if they force a three and out, not a lot of time comes off the clock. Now we've done a really good job so far, knock on wood, whatever, get out your rabbit's feet, everything, the whole shebang. We've been good at getting these onside kicks. We need to do it one more time. And here we go. Onside kick is fielded by Angel Perez. Leopards have it. And again, just a really good decisive job. There's the high hop. I'm going to go get it right now. And... Uh, they Boy, that's, that, we, we have played the onside kicks phenomenally well. Yeah. I think we knew it was coming. We must have practiced it because these guys have been very, very decisive going to get the football. But on that, when they went up the middle, they've been going to their, they've been going to their right, to the right, our left all night. Then they changed up and went to the middle, took the tie hop, the high hop, and uh, Angel was right there to, to secure it. Now, that's not it by any means. They can stop the clock with, you know, three times here. They've got three timeouts. So we need a first down. you need a first down to ice it. Dupree looking to run. He's going to cut it up. And Powell's going to be pushed back after a gain of what looks like about three yards, uh, maybe four. I, I, and DeWitt's going to call you their first timeout. That's what we expected. I thought he got more than that. Wow. Will be the first time out by DeWitt. 157 left. It's now a 28 20 ball game. Farmers Bank and Trust is proud to bring you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's an easy way to earn cash, no talent necessary. It's like a participation trophy that's actually worth something. You do everyday things, we reward you in cash each month. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for free Casasa checking at Farmers Bank and Trust. Welcome you back to DeWitt. Leopards clinging to a 28-20 lead with 157 left here in the fourth quarter. DeWitt can stop the clock two more times as the Leopards face a second and seven from the 48-yard line. Going to come to the line with twins left. Dupree and well, they, quarterback. And they, they've got Luke 10 in the box. Will be Dupree on the run. He's got room. And that yeah. will pretty much there ice it. There it is. That's going to be is. the first down. You know, we talked earlier when they when they stack them in, stack them in like that. They had 10 men up there. You get past that first one and uh, good things happen. And uh, that was just, here. here's our offensive line and a running back and yeah. blocking backs. And Stop us. We're going to be, this is going to be man versus man. And who's going to bow their neck? Who's going to make a stop? Who's going to make the block and in that case the leopards just were the bigger man yeah dewitt does use their second timeout 151 here we'll keep it here yeah uh, it, as we we don't have any more ben's checking updates on the uh on the conference and uh and one of the hootens guys walked by a while ago and we did speak to him a little bit and he just said you know 
you do what you do. You line up and run the ball at them, and and, and you know that's what the leopards are are, are known for, Seth. I mean, it's uh, it's not hard to watch a film one or two ball games. It's kind of like watching all of them, isn't it? it it is that. Well, the Ashdown uh, score is a final, 35-14. Ashdown will advance. Fountain Lake has now fallen behind 40-28. to 28. So it Ooh, looks man. like uh, Fountain Lake in the fourth quarter has got a lot of work to do if they want to find a way to advance. Leopards come to the line. Dupree at quarterback. First and 10 from the 40. Here's the snap. Dupree looking to run. He's up over the 35 and falls forward down to around the 33-yard line. DeWitt will exhaust their last timeout. Yeah. So that makes it second and a uh, long two and a half long three, isn't it, Seth? I, I might even call it four. Might even call it four. I wouldn't call it four. I wouldn't I'd, call it four. I'd, I'd call say, it three and I'd three quarters. Three. Oh, you take three. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Why not? No, uh, I, think, I think it's closer to three. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> two to one. What do you think, Seth? Is you, you hanging on to the four yet, little brother? <laughs> I'll give you I three. De I definitely will tell you it's not two and a half. I'll give you three and a half. <laughs> Three and yeah. a half is probably about right on the you money. Can, you can tell we're obviously in a good mood with one minute and 42 seconds here uh, with an eight-point lead and the ball at second. <laughs> Whatever. Short. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, this is shockingly got, you know, got close at the end in a game yes, that pretty had. much felt like yeah. the Leopards had in hand had from in. the jump. Right now, I would be surprised if the Leopards even hand the ball off. I mean, I don't think we're going to have any more exchanges that are necessary. We're going to direct snap it, I would imagine to either Dupree or Watson. It looks like it's going to be Dupree, and I don't anticipate there being any handoffs. This is going to be direct snap, find a hole, and hit it. Hit it, yeah. Second and three. Ball on the 33. Dupree takes the snap up the middle. Going to fall forward up over the 30, and, and I think that's going to be, be the first That'll be enough for a first down, down and yeah. now we can just side, kneel on it. Side judge over there is giving the first and ten, and uh, now we'll go to that victory formation. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, – not only that, we go to Rivercrest next week. <laughs> next Friday. You're going to have, listen, you guys have to take off at 9 o'clock in the morning to get up. What time will Seth get there, Ben? What do you think? Oh, well, you do, we need to do an, let's do it. Let's do an over and under on Here that, okay? Here we go. Here I'm going to say some, he'll show up sometime between 625 and 635. Uh, he, listen, I guarantee you he'll, he'll be there. That's one thing he is. Uh, Clock ticks under one minute. Leopards a couple kneel downs away. Dupree will kneel on it. Now, wait a minute. The clock went back. Well, okay. I looked back and it said 105, and then it jumped back down to 54. <laughs> I was confused how that happened. And it's going to be one, one more kneel down. Yeah, one more kneel and, down. And a really, really well played game by the Leopards. I mean, it got a little dicey at the end. Um, offensively, they did what everyone expected them to do. And when everybody yeah. knows what's coming and you're still have some, having success at it, that's how you know you've kind of come into your own with the offense. And, you know, and, and Coach Plumley had told me and, and told us that they'll get away from what they're doing and they'll spread it out and throw it all over the field, and that's what they did. I mean, that's how it got, got them back, you know, close to the ball game. And, uh, and, but nonetheless, the Leopards uh, – I'm not going to say the hell. Well, we just want. I'm, I'm going to say this about Rivercrest. We're going up there next week, and that's a game you're going to want to watch because yeah. Rivercrest pulls their entire playbook is trick plays. Yeah. And so, if you want to watch some exciting football, then that's the one you want to watch. They have all kinds of little tricks and funny stuff to throw in, and so that'll be an interesting game. I would, li I would like to say one thing before we sign off. Uh, thank you, DeWitt, for the hospitality. Yep. Uh, the classy people. I mean, this, this, was, a, this was a classic game that uh, hard played by both, and, and the hospitality and the friendship we've yep. received here at DeWitt is, is much appreciated. Is class bunch, and uh, unfortunately, only one can advance, and it, it's the Leopards. And and a special thanks once again to the Laverne, Laverne Stephen, yes. Stephen, and Mary. They, you know, they're up in the cold right now, and uh, <laughs> we're inside, and so we've got the easy job, and so we're going to get off of here because I know that they're ready to get inside and get yeah. out of here. So, we, uh, but thank you, thank you, Stephen. To the thanks to the Laverns. Yeah, we thank you for listening to us. Hats off to De uh, Dewitt. They played a tremendous game with a lot of heart. This was a really fun game, fun atmosphere. We hope that.
let you join us next week as we take a long road trip to Rivercrest. If you can't be there in person, listen in to us as we bring you Malvern Leopard football on to the second round.